Hey guys, Mike from Tiny House Chattanooga. Just finished a nice build. Uh, this is the Lookout model. We won the best show with this in Colorado uh, in the springs this year. This is a new one for a customer out in Colorado that we're about to take delivery on and I wanted to give you guys a tour. As you can see in here, um, nice little cabinet set here. Well, this customer opted to do upper cabinets over the sink here, which is really nice. Uh, she also went with a full-size microwave, full-size fridge, which fits really well. Uh, a couple of things that we changed uh, to adapt a little better was we did a pull-out garbage can. Um, it's kind of hard to fit one in a tiny house, so we made space for it. Of course, you have spice racks on both sides of the stove here. We have our electrical panel underneath the DC and the AC. Of course, the three burner uh, propane stove that we like to use. Uh, we can do full size if you'd like. If you want to come this way, you'll see a uh, washer dryer combo, uh, vented, which is really nice. Up here is your living room area. We call it, uh, we call it a landing, but essentially it is your living room. You could easily mount a TV on the wall or here or here, wherever you like. Couch, uh, love seat, maybe an L, something like that. Uh, all do fit. We did check some measurements for that. We have a nice skylight. Um, this one doesn't open because most people, they can't reach it when it does open to close it. So we made this one stationary. Like this way. You can see here the stairs are nice. They're almost perfect code, um, which makes them a little bit easier to get up and down, of course. Uh, we can offer in the uh, stair storage if you want. It's all just price point. This particular customer has a, a fold down table right here, which is really nice. It is set at chair height. Um, our original model was set at bar stool height, so she wanted us to make that change for it, so we did. Let's see, we'll go this way. And you can see our barn door, which is really nice. Move that there. She opted to go with the same shower as our original, uh, the Tiger Wood shower with the Gavilun backer, which is really nice. Some lights in here. That is a waterproof light, of course, in the shower. She has a Nature's Head compost toilet, which is what she chose. Nice um, size vanity here as well. This is actually Ikea. We went with a medicine cabinet, if you can get a picture of that, um, in here for a little extra storage, which is pretty nice. Got your bath fan here uh, to exhaust all the water and everything out. This way. And the same with this, we made these stairs uh, almost perfect coat as well. Make it a little easier to get up. You can see here, I uh, don't quite have to get out of the way, but nice little storage hatch for her. Really cool. Right to the stairs. And if you notice, um, I'm standing up in here. All right, our original, uh, we had it redesigned to lower the gooseneck down. So at the highest point here, it's six foot seven. So it's actually quite spacious. I'm six foot one, I have plenty of room. So that was a good change we made. Uh, right here is a pantry uh, for her, and she wanted to actually set her own shelves in here, so we didn't put any in for her. Uh, I think she has some sort of cookware she wants to adjust the shelves for, so. Um, this one has a skylight that does open. Also has a fresh air vent on here. It's a V-Lux. It's called a roof window. So this thing lifts all the way open like a door. It's also an escape hatch uh, in this area. You can see here on the wall, we have our fresh air exchangers. That is standard in all our builds. There's a pair of them. They talk to each other. If you look this way, which you'll probably have to come around, it's all our uh, drawer storage. And at the very end on the left here is a closet storage. Like I said, everything you see is set by her uh, where she wanted everything. All right, and also for her to get up there, we put this little, you know, real simple stairs that slide. And that way, whenever you're done using them, you can just slide them back. That way it's not taking up as much of the bed space. So, a little something simple there, but uh, she's a little bit shorter than most, so we wanna make sure she hit her way up there. But, uh, go ahead down here. On the outside of the home, uh, you probably saw the brown siding. Uh, that's a steel siding. It's a very lightweight product, uh, foam back, so it's got some insulation value. 
probably saved about 600 pounds in this house versus uh, your normal types of siding that go on here. We also use uh, closed cell foam spray foam as far as insulation. Our sheathing also has an R3 foam on it um, as well for a thermal break because all our houses are uh, predominantly steel framed. So a lot lighter, a lot stronger. Uh, this house is probably about 2,000 pounds lighter than a wood frame version. So, uh, But it gives you 25 times the strength. That's one of the reasons we like to use it. If you have any other questions from us, just check us out at tinyhousechattanooga.com. Hope to talk to you guys. See ya.